the sea, Durban. For many children in Gauteng, to be here can only be a dream. But thanks to airports company South Africa OR Tambo International Airport, Velvet Sky Airline and the Star Seaside Fund, for 60 underprivileged kids living within the sights and sounds of the airport, this dream became a reality recently. Most of the children had never even seen the sea before, none of them had ever flown before, they were very excited to be flying on Velvet Sky. The travellers of tomorrow are in our communities. The travellers of tomorrow are the children who currently have no clue about what air travel is all about. It is very important for us to continue to bring them closer to the airports. So as airports become relevant in their life and never seen as this very elite institution which only those privileged travel but seen as a mode of travel transport and a quick way to move from one point to another velvet sky's chief operating officer gary webb took pride in leading the children to his airline's aircraft none of the kids needed to be told to hurry up Gary Webb was there to calm 60 first-time flyer nerves. We're talking about bringing air travel to all the people and this is a perfect example of how we can allow people that have not had the opportunity to fly before to fly with us. These, these children have uh, never flown before and we're introducing them to that experience. 13-year-old Nombasa Storman was rather apprehensive about this first flight. I feel like crying. I'm also excited but nervous. I'm really nervous now. My dream is to become an air hostess. These nerves stayed with some for a few moments after takeoff. Are you okay? You look nervous. But soon, as the Velvet Sky aircraft reached cruising altitude, the children were thrilled to touch the sky. Even Nombasa started to enjoy the high life, and almost everyone tucked into the great in-flight service. Well, almost everyone. The excitement was all too much for this boy. In under an hour, Velvet Sky jetted everybody to KwaZulu-Natal and AXA's King Shaka International Airport. Time for Nombasa to think about spreading her wings, her water wings. Soon they were at the Star Seaside Home for Children. Nombasa and the other kids didn't want to stay long though. Grey was the sky, but their spirits were high as they headed for Durban's North Beach. First, a quick safety briefing at the lifeguard station. Then the moment, so everyone could get to touch the sea for the first time at the same time all the children were lined up. The Star Seaside Fund facilitator checked the water and on the blow of his whistle, happy pandemonium. Uh, Velvet uh, Sky, uh, also with the Star newspaper, independent newspaper. They believe that like, um, they have a responsibility to ensure that they provide children within the community with an opportunity to go to places that will uh, stimulate them and encourage them to dream. 
because I believe coming next to the ocean is not uh, not everybody can be able to afford it. But uh, I believe AXA, Velvet Sky and the staff, they've uh, done a great job in ensuring that such an initiative take place and give all these children an opportunity to be in an environment that can stimulate them. People come to Durban, it's very exciting and very fun. I'd like to say thank you very much. You made it a good experience for me. It was nice, but it was my first time flying with a, a plane. It's very exciting. I'm, it's, it's nice, actually. It's cool. I want to be a pilot. I'd like to say thank you and God bless them. To all the sponsors, AXA, Velvet Sky, and the star, uh, on behalf of the kids, this is an experience of a lifetime. It was very, very good. Uh, I hope they enjoy it. Uh, they actually enjoy it. And uh, we'd like to thank them, so thanks very much.